So the first thing that I want you to do is to go download and install Visual Studio Community, which is a free version of Visual Studio. By the way, Visual Studio is the place that we are going to write our codes and run our programs. Uh, after that, I want you to download and install the latest version of .NET and then we are good to go. After you've downloaded and installed Visual Studio, just open it and let's create a new project. So here you can see many kinds of projects that we can create. They are for uh, different platforms and uh, different project types that we, we can use. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to use the most simple one, which is a console app. Although we are going to use many kind of uh, other project types in the future. So just click on next and set a project name for our project. I will just call it fast C sharp. Just click on next and here you can select the version of .NET that you are using. I'm using .NET 6, but the latest version of .NET right now is .NET 7. So you can use .NET 7. There is absolutely no difference. And hit create. And here you can see the project that being created. So in here we have multiple sections. One of them is Solution Explorer which all of our files are going to be stored inside Solution Explorer inside here. As you can see, here is the place that our files will be opened. Here we have a program.cs, which is this file. And the program.cs is the main file that we are going to write all of our code inside of it. So if I close it, I can reopen it just by double clicking on the program.cs over here. The program that we have created right now is the most simple program you can get, which is called console app. So the end result when we are using a console project is a console window. Here is the play button for our application. If I click on it, our application would be executed. There is no other window besides this console window and any code that we write, the result will be shown inside this console window. And it does not have a graphical interface. All right, now let's go back to the code and let's see what these two lines of code means. So first, let me tell you that anything that we want to write inside our application must have a meaning to the C sharp. And here, for example, here in this code, you can see it's written console.write line and inside parentheses it says hello world. This code will print hello world inside our console application. As I've told you, our application is a console type application. So when we type console, we can have access to many attributes of the console that are available to us. For example, the background color of the console, or we can write a line inside a console as it has been done here. The other line that we have here is a comment. It's not a code, but a comment that will not be executed when we are executing our application. It's just to help the other people that will come and read our code. Or maybe for ourselves, we can write a memo so we can check this code out later. So we don't need this line right now and I will remove it. And since this line has been written from the project template, let's remove this line as well and write it again ourselves. So so the thing that we want to do, we want to print a hello world text inside our console. Now what we need to do is first access our console by typing console. As you can see here, there is a window that when I'm typing something, it will suggest the similar keywords that the Visual Studio and C Sharp recognize and we can use them to write our programs. Here we just want to access the console. Now that we have our console, we want to change or use some of its attributes. And in order to access the attributes of the console, we can use a dot. And here are all of the attributes of the console. The attribute that we want to access is either right or right line. I will tell you the difference after we wrote the code. Let's just use the write command for now. And to tell it what we want to write inside the console, we need to open up and close two parentheses. So inside the parentheses, we need to put our text inside double quotations in order for C sharp to know that the text is not an executable code. So just set a double quotation and inside our double quote, we can write anything we want. So now that we write our line of code, we need to tell C sharp that the line of code has been ended and we can do that by typing a semicolon. Now, if we run our application, you can see the hello world has been written inside our console app. So now for the difference for console.write and console.write line. 
let's just copy the console.write again and run our application. Here you can see we have hello world and hello world. There is no space, there is no other line between these two. And that's because we are using console.write. If we use console.write line, the next text that is going to be written inside our console will be written in another line. As you can see here, the second hello world is in the next line. If you want to help me create more videos like this, you can consider subscribing and liking this video. You can also buy me a cup of coffee from the link in the description and help me become a full-time YouTuber. Thank you for watching, bye bye.